students today we will let discuss about the next sub topic okay so the previous class we will discuss about what is the differentiate between that respiration and breathing and uh, meaning of that aerobic and anaerobic respiration and cellular respiration itself so today we will discuss about yeast or single celled organism you know yeast you know the yeast is a single cell organism the respire the anaerobically and during this process yield alcohol they are therefore used to make wine and beer you know yeast you know yeast is a very important for many field you know for example like the factory you know factory industries you know the yeast is very important so yeast will be occur in the anaerobic you know anaerobic means what the food is break down in the without oxygen without oxygen that is called the anaerobic so and during this process yield alcohol they are therefore used to make wine and beer you know whenever we will prepare your wine and beer without yeast we can't make it okay and next one our muscle cells can also respire anaerobically even in our muscle cells also have respire in anaerobic you know the anaerobic limit nothing but listen the aerobic means with oxygen okay A aerobic means with oxygen and anaerobic means without oxygen okay wow. but only for a few short time when there is a temporary deficiency of oxygen during heavy exercise fast running cycling walking for many hours or heavy weight lifting the demand of energy in high you know the normally no problems you know whenever we do some uh, hard work like the physical exercise and training and cycling and jumping and uh, heavy weight lifting so whenever you do the heavy work so that time what will happen so definitely the oxygen but the supply of oxygen to produce the energy is limited you know because during that time your energy will be loss okay energy will be loss because you have to do the exercise or you have to do the some heavy work okay so then the aerobic then the anaerobic respiration takes place in the muscle cells to fulfill the demand of energy you know so that's why what will do you know when will you fulfill that energy you know whenever we do some of the physical exercise for a, a, for a example like the sportsman you know the sportsman they are doing the uh, heavy hard work or heavy heavy job so that person they are immediately what we do so the people they are immediating the glucose powder you know glucose you know so glucose is immediately provide the energy okay well. so this equation the glucose in muscles in the absence of oxygen plus the lactic acid and energy okay whenever we get the glucose the glucose is converted into the lactic acid that one provide the energy for us so that is a Uh, immediate solution for us you know that's why the sportsmen and some other people they are doing that glucose because they immediately provide the energy next have you ever the wondered what to get muscle cramps after heavy exercise you know the cramps means what you know like the muscle strain the cramps occur when muscle cells respire anaerobically so anaerobically means the without oxygen process the cramps occur when muscle cells respire anaerobically the partial breakdown of glucose produce lactic acid this is very important so the partial breakdown of glucose breakdown of glucose produce lactic acid and glucose enna produce panna the produce the lactic acid the accumulation of lactic acid causes the muscle cramps the accumulation of lactic acid causes muscle cramps 
सो वी गेट रिलीफ फ्रॉम क्रम्स आफ्टर य हॉट वाटर बॉथ और य मैसेज कैन यू गेस वाई स्टो हॉट वाटर बॉथ और मैसेज टू इम्प्रूव सर्कुलेशन ऑफ ब्लड एस ए रिजल्ट द सप्लाई ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू द मसल सेल्स इनक्रीज यू नो यू नो वाई वी वाई वी आर डूइंग दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज यू नो बिकॉज द सर्कुलेशन द फ्री सर्कुलेशन यू नो दैट यू नो ब्लड इन अवर ब्लड कैन ऑलवेज कैरिंग द ऑक्सीजन इन ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी यू नो सो दैट्स वे वी विल टेक द बॉथ एस ए रिजल्ट सप्लाई ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू द मसल सेल्स इनक्रीज द इनक्रीज इन सप्लाई ऑफ ऑक्सीजन रिजल्ट इन द कंप्लीट ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ लैक्टिक एसिड इन टू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर यू नो द इनक्रीज इन द सप्लाई ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई पड़ना एना आना इमीडियटली द कंप्लीट ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ लैक्टिक एसिड कंप्लीट ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ लैक्टिक एसिड इन टू लैक्टिक एसिड एना ब्रेक डाउन आई एना कन्वेट आगे कार्बन डईआक्सैड अंड वाटर कन्वेट आगे दट इज वेरी इंपार्ट द इनक्रीज इन दट सप्ले आफ आक्सीजन result in the complete breakdown of lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water okay then next one breathing next one what breathing you know so what do you mean by breathing you know the breathing means what we will get oxygen we will take it oxygen and releasing that carbon dioxide and releasing the carbon dioxide so that is called the breathing process so this is one of the activity close your nostrils and mouth tightly and look at the watch close your nostrils and mouth look at the watch what do you feel after sometimes you can't breathe you know whenever you close in our that uh, nose and mouth definitely we can't breathe because we will suffer because there is the no oxygen and carbon dioxide supply so that's why we will suffer how long were you able to keep both of them closed note down the time for which you could hold your breath so now you know that you cannot survive for long time without breathing without breath we can't survive why we can't survive because of we will get the oxygen and releasing the carbon dioxide so that is a very important for us breathing means taking in air rich in oxygen and give out air rich in carbon dioxide with the help of respiratory organ that is a very important so this is a very important two more question uh, different breathing means what the breathing means taking in oxygen taking in good oxygen and give out the air rich in carbon dioxide with the help of respiratory organ the help of respiratory organs the taking in air is rich in oxygen into body is called inhalant and give out the air rich in carbon dioxide known as called the exhalant so inhale means we will get it that we we will take it oxygen that is a inhale process and exhale process and exhalation means nothing but we will uh, release the or give out the carbon dioxide that is called what exhalation okay so inhalation means nothing but taking oxygen that is inhalation and exhalation means nothing but give out the carbon dioxide okay it is a continuous process which goes which goes of all the time and throughout life of an organism so the, that is a breathing process is a continuous process in our life because the when will stop in our breath definitely we will die okay so the breathing process is a continuous process in our life next the breathing rate so this is very important one more question so the number of time a person breathing in minutes is termed as breathing rate the number of time a person breathes in a minutes to termed as a breathing rate you know the number of time a person breathe in a minutes as the breathing rate you know for 
ஒரு நிமிஷத்துக்கு எவ்வளோ டைம் ப்ரீத் பண்ணுறோமோ ஸோ தட் இஸ் கால்டு த ப்ரீத்திங் ரேட் த நம்பர் ஆஃப் டைம்ஸ் எ பர்சன்ஸ் ப்ரீத் இன் எ மினிட்ஸ் ஈஸ் நோன் எஸ் கால்டு த ப்ரீத்திங் ரேட் திஸ் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ஸோ டூரிங் ப்ரீத்திங் இன்கலேஷன் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்கலேஷன் ப்ராசஸ் வில் பி கம்ப்ளீட்டட் ஓகே தேங்க்யூ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்